Hi everyone, it's Andy Thomas here from Abacus Jack Accountancy. Um, thanks for tuning into this session. We're going to spend 10, 15 minutes or so uh, talking about cash flow within small businesses. Um, not just about the importance of cash flow, but also how to plan it, how to track it, how to analyze it. Um, and I'm going to talk uh, in depth about the uh, software tool Float. Um, that is a, a useful application you can use to uh, look at cash flow within your business. Um, it, there are obviously um, quite a few cash flow tools cropping up right now, but Float happens to be the one that I work with um, with my clients. Um, it's also very good at integrating with the, the main sort of accounting platforms. So I'm just going to share my screen uh, with you now um, and go through a few slides um, and go through a few kind of tips on uh, cash flow in general. So we can see here that, uh, yeah, four out of five businesses, um, you know, basically that, that's, the, that's the reason that the business uh, will, will fail is a lack of cash flow management um, or lack of, of cash flow control. So it's really important that businesses of all shapes and sizes learn how to track and manage cash flow. Move on here. Cash flow is basically a way of looking into the future. It's, it's a way of forecasting and predicting how the business is going to perform in the future and some of the, the pitfalls to look out for along the way. Um, it's also a really good tool to be able to make key decisions um, on things like hiring, um, on things like expanding production, expanding uh, premises, um, and where, where you can spend your money or equally where you need to cut back on spending your money. Now this first slide here. Um, so this is a this is a very standard view of of what a business might produce for a cash flow statement. It's obviously a spreadsheet. Um, it's a, a lot of data in there. Okay, a lot of figures, a lot of um, numbers that we, that we're looking at. Is this useful? Well, to be honest with you, actually this isn't this this isn't too bad. Um, you know, if you manage your cash flow in a spreadsheet, then that's better than not managing it at all. Um, but what we need to look out for here is some of the things that a spreadsheet-based cash flow forecast will and won't tell you, um, then compared to some of the newer, uh, perhaps slightly easier ways of, of monitoring cash flow. So here what we're looking at is a very sort of two-dimensional view of money coming into and out of the business. So month by month, we can see what sales are and we can see what our costs are for, the, for this business. Now that is useful, as I say, it's, it's much better to do this and not do it at all. Um, but what this doesn't really show is the actual impact of when money lands in the bank, when supplier invoices have to be paid. Um, because in the real world, as we know, um, let's say our, our supplier sends us an invoice for something we've bought from them, um, likelihood is we'll pay that not immediately, but at some point um, before the due date of, of that invoice. And your customers will be exactly the same when you invoice them. You probably give them some terms, let's say 30 days, for example, and they'll pay you at some point in that 30 days. It's often fairly unpredictable as well. Um, so this view doesn't really take that into account. So yeah, it's a good way of tracking what's coming in and what's coming out, but it's not an actual cash flow statement. So I can't see from this what my bank balance is going to be at any particular day uh, in time or can't predict from that because it's just showing a monthly input and output. So I want to get across the point that there is value in keeping spreadsheets, particularly for really small businesses. It's a very simple way of just jotting down what you're expecting to earn through the business and, and, and what you're expecting to spend through the business. So it is good. Um, but really what I want to do today is try and highlight that now we're working in this kind of tech driven age, cloud accounting really, really uh, becoming prominent amongst small businesses. There are alternatives and there are probably easier ways to look at cash flow um, that you can you know, look at or, or talk to your accountant about. So here's an example um, of what you would see if you use the float application. Um, so Float is a cloud-based cash flow forecasting tool. That is what it does. Um, and at its core, it will integrate with things like Xero, FreeAgent, QuickBooks, all the main cloud accounting platforms. Um, and that's really useful because what it does 
is it gets an up-to-date real-time view of your P&L, but also your balance sheet. So combining both the P&L and the balance sheet is what allows the cash flow tool to actually see when money is landing at any point in the month. Um, so like a lot of these tools, you log in, you get a little dashboard showing you um, a few kind of insights in, into what's happening in the business. Um, useful to a degree, but really the power becomes when when you start to look underneath it and, and at what's going on in the different areas. So I'm going to I'm going to show you a few screenshots here. One of the things that uh, we often get asked to do for clients is to um, show them what's going to happen to their businesses or what could happen to their businesses under different conditions. Now, these could be anything from saying, you know, I'm going to I'm going to win a, a, a new contract. Uh, that's going to deliver this amount of revenue. What's that going to look like in my long-term cash flow? Or equally, um, it might be a case of, uh, particularly recently, kind of planning a, um, a scenario where the business has either a steady revenue or a slight decline in revenue because of things like COVID. Um, and we get asked that all the time, and we can use the figures that, that we've got to uh, to demonstrate what that's going to look like by producing scenarios. So typically, you'd have a base scenario within your business. So kind of a, a, a middle of the road where you expect things to be going in terms of sales and costs. And then from that base, you can create as, as many different um, scenarios as you like for, like I say, you know, increases in revenue or indeed decreases in revenue. And just map out that, what that's going to look like. Um, this can therefore drive decisions around staff, around um, premises, around uh, capital growth because you you may want to see well, when when can i afford to bring new people on or when can i afford to expand my premises um you know and if you're a production company um looking at buying tooling or machinery or equipment looking at this future trend in cash flow is really going to help you identify when it's safe to to make these investments um and when perhaps it isn't safe now like with all these things you have to point out it is a forecast um but unless you have some kind of forecast, it's really difficult to make those decisions just based on, on instincts. It's much easier to use data and look at what the data is telling you in order to make those decisions. Another um, area to, to touch on here is that um, most of the decent cash flow tools out there will also act as budget tools. So you can set up sort of simple budgets within your... Um, in your cash flow tool and then pretty much automatically when the tool connects into your accounting system it will tell you um how how far on or off budget you are in terms of your, your actuals versus your forecasts and that also can be quite useful again kind of replacement for doing it in a spreadsheet now one of the things that, that float uh, does quite well um talking of spreadsheets is it kind of realizes that people people are used to working with spreadsheets we've all worked with spreadsheets for, for years so rather than kind of try and uh, take that that familiarity away from us, um, what Float does is actually utilize it. So when you are inputting forecasted costs and sales within the system, it actually looks and feels a bit like a spreadsheet, as you can see from, from this screenshot. So you can sort of copy and paste data from Excel um, or, or enter that data within these cells. And it's it's a very familiar, fast way of, of building up a, a picture of um what your what your finances look like and obviously just in a table form like this that's that's not the easiest thing to to look at so you know if we just uh, if we just go back a, a slide once you commit that data you then start to get the graphical representations that you can see here and in, I'm, I'm instantly i know in, in terms of how i work I, i'm much um i'm much more responsive when i can see something uh, graphically and see like a trend over time um, that's just the way my brain works um, in terms of looking at data and working out what it's really telling me. Um, so cash flow, another way to think about a cash flow forecast, it's, a, it's, a, it's telling a story of what's likely to happen in your business you know, based on different scenarios. Um, and that's, that's all it is. So I hope you found some of that useful. Um, Cash flow is different within all different types of businesses. So really the, the, the end point I would like to get across is, you know, if anybody has any questions or, or niche scenarios they want to discuss, then by all means get in touch and we'll try and help you out. 
um, whether it's kind of recommending um, software or applications that might work for your business, um, or whether you want us to actually look at some of your data and, and help you out with some of that analysis, then by all means, that's what we're here to do. Um, we are, like many of you, online with many of the sessions throughout this week, um, looking at what's going on, learning about different things, learning about what's going on. Um, so we're easy to get hold of on the on the forum or contact details either through our website um, and my emails on there as well. So thanks very much for listening. I hope you found that useful um, and I look forward to uh, speaking to some of you soon. Thanks very much.